Today's medication is called metaproteranol sulfate, also known by its brand name, which is Allupins. It falls under the class of beta-2 agonist and bronchodilators. Its mechanism of action is that it attaches to beta-2 receptors, and this induces bronchial smooth muscle relaxation. Your indications for this medication are going to be asthma, emphysema, reversible bronchospasm due to bronchitis. And as always, before we get into dosages, I just want to make it clear this isn't a medication that's typically carried on the ambulance. Ambulance, but if you do carry it on your ambulance or you see it out in the field, make sure you abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your dose is going to be 0.65 milligrams, and this could be in a meter dose inhaler, and usually they'll advise two to three inhalations of this inhaler, or 0.2 to 0.3 milliliters of a 5% solution, and it's diluted in 2.5 milliliters via SVN. Your pediatric dose is not recommended for those under six years. Contraindications, hypersensitivity, tachydysrhythmias, and extreme tachycardia. Adverse reactions from this medication can include tachycardia, palpitations, anxiety, tremors, coughing, nausea, vomiting, dysrhythmias, sweating, chest pain, and paradoxical bronchospasms. Sounds like a lot, but actually if you look at albuterol sulfate, it's very similar side effects. Okay, so going into some of the drug interactions, when it's used in conjunction with an MAO in inhibitor. Um, it may cause a dysrhythmia, and when it's used with beta blockers, the effect in this will decrease or be negated. Beta agonists will actually potentiate the effects. It can come in a meter dose inhaler of 0.65 milligram spray, or it can also be in a 0.4, 0.5, or 0.6 percent inhalation solution. And just a couple side notes about Allupint. The onset is about a minute, so it kicks in pretty quick, and you want to use with caution in patients that are already extremely tachycardic or have severe cardiac issues that can cause severe tachydysrhythmia. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol, stay within your scope of practice. Remember, this is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.